Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to the second episode from season 2 of Dead Like Me. Before I start I want to tell you that you can already see the next episode on my Patreon. The link is in the description. There you can find the early access tier but you can also find the uncut reactions tier and there you can find my full reactions to these episodes so without any cuts. Also if you like my reactions don't forget to subscribe because you will always be up to date with my uploads uh, and of course more Dead Like Me is coming so yeah make sure to subscribe and uh, yeah I just watched the first episode from season two I really enjoyed it um, we saw some character progress in most of the characters uh, we saw Mason got sober in the end he picked up the booze again so I don't know how that's gonna end now uh, George got a promotion Roxy got a promotion Rube is not happy with George again because he doesn't want her to take the promotion. Um, just a lot of drama again. So yeah, that's like a quick recap of what we just saw. Um, and now I'm going to watch the second episode. So let's go. Most girls my age are obsessed with pretty similar things. Some are obsessed with flirting, something more than flirting. I always wonder like she's been dead over a year. But if you're like dead over 10 years, then you're still, your body's still going to be 18. Are you gonna, still going to say like girls my age? Or do you see girls who are 28 like girls your age then? Right? <laughs> I was obsessed too. I honestly think you're always gonna feel like 18, but with a bit more life experience. I was obsessed with post-its. Post-its and death. Why does she need that one many post-its? For Roop or something? Did you write my name on my post-it? What? The one where I died. Georgia, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the drop-by. Well, yeah, probably. I was in the middle of a sentence when you knocked. A written sentence in a book that I had to put it down because you knocked. I was in the middle of something when you knocked. Does it matter who wrote your post-it? What else do you get? Is my name still in here somewhere? What else does it say about me? What else does it say about me? I feel like this is something she's never going to get over. I mean, it's your dad, so... Does it say that I was 18 years old? That I had never had a boyfriend? That I didn't even have my driver's license? Did it say that I had never done anything? Virgin mythology says on the last day there's a reckoning. You got one side for light, one side for darkness. The world wants balance. This is your response. Yeah, I just want to say the girl has a serious mental breakdown. Way station into the afterlife. And a very valid one. You're gonna be young and silly. You are young and silly. Georgia, I wrote your name on that post. I hadn't met you, I didn't know what a great kid you were. But if I had known you, I still would have written your name on the poster. Yeah, there's not really anything he could have done. I think we learned that by now. And I'm not. Oh yeah, of course. I hadn't even thought about that. All right, she's their top realtor, Clancy. I think Reggie's upstairs. Reggie! Reggie! Can't find her. Bye. Well, honey, half of it is your father's. Can we just buy his half? I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, I just wanted to say that's a pretty big house. But you're going back to work, you know, would require a major lifestyle change for me, you know, for both of us. I have to live in some cheesy apartment just because you're lazy. Damn. Do you, don't you remember how incredibly unhappy I was when I came home? You're always incredibly unhappy. No, I'm not. Fair. Unhappy in a cheesy apartment, unhappy in a big house. This is all about the uh, balance, this episode, huh? I never realized the mom didn't have a job, but indeed, we never saw her work, so... Thank you. Foxy, can I see your new police revolver, please? Please. No. Pretty please. She won't hold it, Roxy. <laughs> What does he think? Give me the gun. 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 Really working my nerves this morning. If anyone sees this, here's your juice, hon. Thanks. I feel bad for Tiffany. All the shit she has to put up with with these guys. My parents are selling my house. The house I grew up in, they're selling it. How much? I have no idea. How much is the check? Why would they do this? They loved our house. Just doesn't add up. up. What's the problem with the check? 
She didn't charge us enough. We most certainly will not. Right, Johnny Law. <laughs> She's a cop now. She didn't charge me for my fruit salad. Popsy free. It doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah. Parents are moving. That's what I'm saying. It's not like they need the extra space because when she kicked the bucket, they gained an extra room. Roxy, do me a favor. Shoot him. Gladly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Girly, I think if if someone from like upper management sees how she handles the gun right now, you're gonna be fired in a restaurant. Let me tell cops don't eat free. People hate cops. Please don't. Do officers of the law receive complimentary meal? No. <laughs> Coffee's free. You want some more coffee? Is coffee really free for cops? Well, not maybe back then in America or whatever, but no, I don't believe that, right? <laughs> but no, you would be fired if you do that. What the hell? At least it's a comedy show, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes the world just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this is such a great scene. Just the way there's two subjects at the same time going on and two of them are talking about one subject, two of the other, and it constantly switches. Funny writing. Pardon me. Hey, can I get a soda? He stole the money! Ooh, karma's a bitch, huh? Behold. Oh, Mason, Mason, Mason. Are you drinking again? Nope. Say as God is my way. Where is the pee? A Georgie Washington from Georgie Girl. <laughs> Where could it be? Where is the pee? Guess. And win a dollar. The metal one. Nope. Oh, by George, she's got it. Yeah, you are drinking again. I find yourself a cross, suddenly you're a Catholic. I think it looks very pretty on me, don't you? It is a pretty necklace, gotta say that. I'm just not Catholic. I want a saint. Have I got a saint? Yeah, St. Thomas. What about St. Mason? Thomas is the patron. Don't you usually ride your bike over here? Yes. Did you ride it today? Yes. Well, it's not out there. What? Your bike is gone. Did the bike get stolen? I gave you that bike. This better be a joke. Is it really gone? I could really use a laugh this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, play. This literally happened to a friend of mine. No, I remember what it was like. We were at a cafe and then we got outside and, and he chained it to the bike rack. But they stole the wheels. They didn't steal the, the frame, weren't just the wheels. It was so annoying, but it was also kind of funny because the guy was an asshole. So right now I can really laugh yes. about it. I, all I left was one tire. I had a feeling you'd lose that bike. You gotta make a figure eight with your hands. But I a bike. <laughs> you lost my pee now. What, you're, you're blaming me? Well, someone has to be blamed, isn't that the theory? Yeah, it's mostly the thief that if gets not, blamed, right? <laughs> designer of the bike for making something so beautiful that someone else covets it or maybe we should blame me or maybe we should assign no blame at all i blame the guy who took it thank you i'll get revenge don't victim blame george for her bike getting stolen are you a responsible driver i am an excellent driver i promise to take care of your piece of shit truck well that's not the response i was looking for oh. sometimes pretty things just disappear well i guess that's just my bad luck show me the hands we know a loser which will it be? <laughs> Only time will tell. He knows how to make a show Here out of it. Today. What's under the middle one? I feel like he never moves the middle one. <laughs> He's just moving the ones around, right? Yes, she. Yes, she. I'm gonna squish you two if you get any clay on that table. We'll clean it. You know, George, when you're all grown up, you are not gonna believe how little you were. I'm not little. Reggie's little. <laughs> Your father was kidding, honey. You're a big girl. Oh. Must be hard to constantly, like, look at all that, but also somewhere kind of calming, maybe? There's a system in place to address that. Funny that they got a police station for season maybe two. <laughs> the system takes care of you. I'd like to report the theft of my bicycle. It happened almost an hour ago on Bay Street. Feel this out? It's a Harvard Law degree. We're all very proud of you. Listen, I'm gonna be really late for work. Can I just describe the bike to you and you can put out- Yeah, the thing is, they don't care about bike thefts. 
at least as far as I know, my bike got stolen last year. Um, I didn't really care because I just moved out of that place and I didn't really need the bike anymore. So I just left it at a friend and I was like, oh, I can use it whenever I want if I'm here. Then it got stolen a week later, which was so weird because it was in front of my house for a year. And then in a like a protected garage, it got stolen like within a week. Um, and you can't really do anything about it. But especially in the Netherlands, bike theft is just like the most regular thing here, if you ask me. It's like a vicious cycle, like um, especially in the big city, your bike gets stolen. And um, then you steal a bike because your bike gets stolen. And then the next person steals a bike because their bike gets stolen. Not saying I have stolen a bike because I didn't care about the bike. But I know that's how it goes here. So, And the police has, like, as stupid as it sounds, better things to do than, yeah, putting up with that. That or seduces. Not your strong side. Is this going to be his whole storyline for, for the entire episode? Just these shells? He's not moving the middle one. Are you drinking again? That's God is my witness. Follow the pee. Or did he only get that one drink and then stop again? I don't know. I don't trust it. Oh, now he's moving the middle one. You need a rhythm. You need to hypnotize with your words. Mm -hmm. He's doing it so slow. Everyone can guess it. It's under the one on the right. Wrong. My right. My right. <laughs> I can do this. <clears throat> yeah, he's still drinking. How is this low priority? Yeah, that's what I meant. Who do I have to kill to get some attention around here? It's just an expression. <laughs> oh, Roxy. I'll catch up with you guys. I'll take it from here, thanks. I will treat this with the respect it deserves. What does that mean? Look, I'm happy to file a report. I'm happy to follow up. But don't expect anyone around here to look out for your bike. Yeah. You're on the books, George. Oh. The hell? Is it Saturday? Staff meeting. How come you're not? I always forget Crystal can talk. Theft. Thieves harm everyone's fun. What do I mean when I say harm? Harm who? The CEO. <laughs> the president. Someone Just sit down. And everyone in here is a thief until proven otherwise, including you. Right? Oh. <laughs> Stealing company property is no joke. Is this about the, the post-its? People think, oh, the company's sucking away my life. I'll just take something back. You. What's your name? Millie. You like your life there, Millie? Not so much. I'm really happy. Good. Because you know what people do when they're unhappy, don't you? They get a cat. Not you. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> or rollerball pants. Or... or Post-its. Post-its. Rip off. Report. Identify. Prove. Fire. Rip. Prove. You got a problem there, Millie? He misspelled rip off. Dropped an F. We have ourselves a smart ass. Don't you mean smart as? Millie. <laughs> Let me tell you something then. I'm not saying stealing post-its is like not like a bad thing to steal from your company. But I think stolen post-its are her least worry at this Five. moment. That's my talent. What's yours? You don't want to find out. Is that a threat? Watch this one. I don't like her. R.I.P. Bull. By the horns. Yeah, he is a freak. <laughs> uh, well, um, there's uh, muffins. <laughs> Say no more. Find the P. P is under... This shelf. Just take the money. Take the money. Go away. <laughs> As that revenue stream running. Hang on, let me find it. It's there. New car? Oh. He's having a midlife crisis, right? It's a lease. Looks like a real chick magnet. Where's Reggie? It's school. You know, they used to keep the non-voters for eight hours a day, keep them out of trouble. Yeah, 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 I, I, where do we start? 1983. It was a joke. Ha! Huh. Oh, this relationship is so, ugh. I stole this from that hotel in Maui. That was a good vacation. The best. Since I stole it, I guess it's mine. I'm the thief. 
I'm the cat burglar. I also kind of feel like that's less a thing these days because everyone, everything just goes online right now. I also feel like you don't need all of those um, supplies anymore. Not as much, as, uh, uh, at least. Okay. Death waits for no man. Gotta go, gotta go. Millie. Really? I feel like it must be so annoying that... Going somewhere already? Something else, please. Maybe Ruby Ross Rice. Dolores, I died about a year ago and became a Grim Reaper. And someone at the Woodside Mall is going to die in about 20 minutes. And I have to go take their soul before they bite it. She, she really said that. I appreciate your understanding. That security guy really... Ah, okay. I thought she said it knowing that she wasn't gonna believe her anyway. I'm on the edge here, Dolores, and I need to go to a meeting. Grant me the serenity. Okay, thank you. Later. I'd bore myself to death if I weren't already dead. But it must be so annoying that every time you have a post-it and then you have, you're forced to take your 35 minutes minute lunch hour at that exact time and then you can't even have a break you just have to take us all throw some meat on this baby and you're doing what i like to call the biscotti hibachi tango and that's fun in the kitchen fun in the kitchen mm. <laughs> fucking mall gigs okay i need a volunteer uh how about you young lady no Come i mean you can take a soul if it's him look kid i gotta move four of these by the end of the hour or i'm a dead man Right, just read the script. Yeah, you are a dead man. Do you like fresh fruit juice? I love fresh fruit juice. You throw the rind away? My friend, if you're not trying the rind, you're not living. Neither are you in three minutes. Why do people actually keep watching this? Not only is the kitchen guillotine easy to use, easy to... Oh, is he? He's not gonna cut off his hand, right? And then, like, there's gonna be a lot of blood, or I don't know. Ooh, ooh, that was even worse. Got some juice on your coat. Actually, that's you. Ooh, I didn't expect it to be that gruesome. <laughs> and the world gets even. Maybe even throws you a bone. Oh. Is the Ryan really? Oh. This must be so hard when you're you've been living together for so long. Your mother gave this to me. My mother. I think that falls squarely in the category of things that I brought into the marriage. You should give the necklace back to me. But if it was a gift to her, I wanted to give this to Reggie. I want to give this to our daughter. Well, I can give it to her just as easily. You want it, Clancy? You're gonna have to rip it off my neck. How was school today, honey? Did I do one of these? Yeah, you did. Gotten lost somewhere. I need a ride to my drum lesson. Oh, I'll take you. Yeah. She really claims all of George's things. <laughs> I kind of like that for her, if it helps. Rube says the world wants balance. Why shouldn't I get mine? Even if I didn't exactly pay for it. Is that the car? No, right? This guy was doing Who are you kidding? mall gigs. You're not this lucky. <laughs> what? He was doing mall gigs? Not like anyone was keeping score. Oh, okay. And more important, it's not like anyone was watching. Might as well. I don't know why you'd need six of those things, but resell them. What is the whole thing about this cross? They're, I feel like they're making a way bigger deal out of it than it actually is. I've got uh, Jesus Christ, Crystal, Twin Towers there. You want to see something pretty? <laughs> Wait, is he, is he a soul she has to take? No, okay. See? Now there's something really pretty. How much are they worth? Was that really? Oh my god, what a shitty move. I feel like Daisy doesn't really care, or as long as someone says she's pretty, then she's fine with it. But oh my god, <laughs> that was cringe. Probably turn of the century. I'll give you a thousand bucks for it. Really? Sure. Are you Catholic? A little bit. Is Rusty your real name? No, I had, I had red hair when I was a kid. My real name's John. John White. Yeah, he has soul. I think I can get a better deal somewhere else. You have beautiful things, Rusty. Rusty and beautiful. <laughs> Rusty and beautiful. <laughs> I always wonder if, if people never suspect the Reapers of, like, being murderers or something. Just like... Oof. Oof. Yeah, okay. That was about to happen. It's like they're always there when someone dies. At some point, people would be like, hmm, I don't know. I actually have plenty of manners, but I would love another cross. Help yourself. A sweet 
these people are always so chill when they die. It's not like George. George was just like, no, this can be happening. And they're all like, yeah, okay, I guess. You don't eat the rind? The rind's the best part, darling, isn't it? <laughs> That's fun in the kitchen. You are seriously beginning to creep me out, so piss off. Shoo, go. Go, 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 go. It dies, it'll cut your fucking hand off if you want it to. Only a Lovely. Did George just give him the, the boxes so he could uh, make some money? First time you've pulled into this driveway since you died. Does she want to buy the house? She doesn't have money for that, right? Hi. Oh, she's, she wants to see it. Okay. I mean, the car does make it look like she, she's got money. So, I mean, I think she they think she might be serious. And you're sure the family won't be here, right? Oh, no. Creepy having the family hovering around when you're looking at their things. <laughs> You uh, are single? Engaged to a banker. He's at the bank making serious bank. Oh. Preparing for the future. What I was really doing, of course, was facing my past. Why are they moving? Excuse me? Where is the family going? Why are they leaving? Oh, well, there's no problem with the house itself. I can assure you of that. It just doesn't make any sense. They lost a child. Oh, it was very sad. Terrible accident. But I think that was the beginning of it. The beginning of what? The end of the marriage. It's very common. Most marriages can't survive the death of a child. Yeah. Oof. And just as I did as a child when faced with something I didn't want to hear, I headed straight for my room. Oh, um, there's a tricky handle. You might want to lift it a bit. It's the, uh, it's the only real flaw in an otherwise mint condition house. I yeah, but I mean, she's seen that already, right? Myself. Sure, I'll, I'll be downstairs. But it wasn't even my room anymore. No. But at first it was like there was all these boxes and already some gym things, so... Oh, she's gonna see that Reggie um, and finally, has all her things. There I was. Yeah. But there was no place for me. I just didn't fit. Dolores, you wanna come to the karaoke happy hour with us? Everyone's gonna be there. Except for Crystal. <laughs> well, back to the salt mines. Rockstar parking. Lucky me. How long until she loses the car because she's not paying for it or gets a fine? What's that? A Mustang? Did you steal it? Not exactly. Sort of. I think I was supposed to get it. I had a really bad day, Rube. I think I was supposed to get it. I feel like Rube can be an asshole, but at the same time, he's always there for you when, when you've had a bad day, so that's nice. 19 years old, still $17, was killed running away. Never stole anything in his life, was just hungry. 19, you were 18. What else did it say about me? It said that you did not have a driver's license. And you didn't get that car because someone stole your bike. Oh, it's like kind of what they what they said at the, at the job. Like, people are trying to compensate for their shitty lives. Kind of what happened with the car now. Death of a child doesn't kill a marriage. Sometimes it gives it an overdue burial, but see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bring my friend a bowl of chocolate ice cream. Maybe there's a different girl who's dodging a bullet. Stepping out of the I don't know. <laughs> Roof can be so sweet. I figure that since I hit a pretty harsh stretch of bad luck when I was 18, you know, the whole toilet seat falling from the sky and incinerating me kind of bad luck. I figured it would be reasonable to expect a change of fortune on the other side. <laughs> it was her? What? They really made it look like it was George. Oh my god, that's funny. Plot twist. I was already like, why is she stealing the post-its? Is this some like hidden trauma because her name was on a post when she died or... Nice. I want to keep stealing back pieces from where my life used to be. Okay, I like that for her. I'm just like everyone else, and I'm ready to even the score. Okay. Good. I mean, she's stealing things that aren't really hurting anyone. Like, the people are dead already. And the end really made it seem like the first time... George is actually trying to enjoy her, well, on that life. Yeah, I feel like every time it was just like, no, I can't do anything because I'm dead. I can't do stuff like that because I'm not supposed to. I can't connect with the living because Ruth says I can't and I will hurt people. And 
Now it's just like, okay, make up for the time you, you don't have anymore. You can still have that. It's just different. But I saw Mason was also there. And I feel like Mason is also like sometimes hanging out and doing fun stuff. He's mostly doing drugs and booze, but you know what I mean. Just get everything out of it you can. You've had such a short life, never really got to experience things. I feel like her going back to her parents' house, I think it was very hard to do and you saw that it really touched her, but maybe something she, she needed to get like some closure on that part. I'm also wondering if she she's gonna find out where they're moving to. I really hope she will because otherwise she never really gets to see them anymore. That would also be kind of sad. Now she's still kind of spying on them, which is also not the best thing to do, but it helps her. So yeah, I hope she, she knows where they're going or at least is gonna find out. I feel like it was kind of a, in some way a wholesome episode as in a lot of shit happened. But then in the end, she decides for herself, okay, I'm not gonna let that determine me. I am gonna live the life I have left. And that seemed to be going well in the end. So yeah, bike got stolen, got a car in return. Um, and like I said, it really had something to do with the, the sort of presentation uh, the guy gave at the job. So it was kind of funny that it came back in that way. And that they made us think that she stole the post-its, but that appeared to be Crystal. That was pretty funny. Um, I don't know, for some reason it just makes sense for it to be Crystal, you know? Because she's just a bit of a weirdo, but I, I grew to respect her, you know? She's not hurting anyone, she's just there, you know? I think the whole um, parents divorcing thing is hard. But um, like Rube said, you can't blame yourself. Uh, sometimes when a child dies, uh, that's like, it has something to do with it, but then the marriage is probably already not so strong already. It doesn't always have to be the case. But I think he's right. If you have like the most loving, perfect marriage and your child dies, of course that can have a big impact. But if your marriage is like that strong and you love each other that much, I think it could be like a really big obstacle but it wouldn't always end in divorce. It, it is a, like a very common thing though, if, if parents lose a child, that, that the marriage also doesn't go well. So I don't know too much about that. Don't want to say things that aren't true or whatever, but I, I just wanted to say that I get what Rube was saying. And honestly, if I see the parents, they hate each other's guts. So I think it, it really is the best decision. Maybe it's not the, the best or like the nicest feeling for Reggie right now, but she's gonna understand that too eventually. And um, you can already see that she's uh, going more to the mom than the dad, like the way she wanted to, the mom to bring her to the drum lesson. I think she also kind of realizes that it's kind of the dad's fault for probably sleeping with one of his students. And the dad is throwing excuses like, yeah, but maybe you pushed me in that direction. And I'm like, no, I saw that she was trying and you just didn't care anymore. And sure, that's fine, but you could have just said that before like I don't feel any attraction anymore I don't think I want to be in this marriage anymore how hard that is you know but just sleeping with one of your students is already fucking weird and a bit of a pedo move but you know to do that while you're still married while you know the marriage is probably not gonna stay then just get divorced before you find someone else you know but I mean it's easy for me to say I've never been in that situation and uh, sadly it happens a lot in real life people hurting each other in marriages it happens all the time um, but yeah what I want to say is I think it is a good idea that they're splitting up right now up to now I've seen two episodes from season two and I'm really enjoying them it's it's it, these are really nice episodes I'm not bored at all not that I was bored at season one but I feel like they're a bit more entertaining or something I feel like season one was a lot like finding out what's happening. And season two is just fun. You're full, yeah, fun. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, messed up things too, but it's fun to follow them, follow their adventures, see what's happening, what they're doing. So yeah, I'm really liking season two up to now. If you already wanna see uh, more episodes from season two, you can check out my Patreon. The link's in the description. And if you like this reaction, then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I really hope to see you at the next episode. Bye.